Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today, I'm going to be talking about Season 5, Episode 15, Man from the South, starring Steve McQueen and Peter Lorre. And as always, there will be episode spoilers. So, Man from the South is one of the most famous Alfred Hitchcock Presents episode and also considered one of the best. So, I was very interested to watch it. And I do agree, it's really, really good and a classic. Although it's not my uh, very favorite personal episode, mostly because of the ending, which I think works but could have been better in my opinion. But the rest of the episode up to that point is absolutely amazing. Steve McQueen and Peter Lorre are great and really had me invested in the plot, which is very straightforward. It's a very simple concept, but there's just so much suspense and tension in the episode. And I thought director Norman Lloyd did a great job um, here. So this episode starts with a woman sitting at a bar and she's played by Neil Adams, who was married to Steve McQueen at the time. So they have really good chemistry together in the episode. This woman loses a shoe and a young man, not given a name, so I'll just call him the gambler, picks it up and gives it back to her. And you can tell there's an instant connection between the two of them. So they leave the bar and grab a table and they're chatting, but they are eventually interrupted by a man named Carlos. Carlos seems to be interested in the gambler's lighter and also likes to make bets. So Carlos at this point tells the gambler if he can get his lighter to work. 10 times in a row, he will get a new car, a convertible, but if the gambler fails, Carlos will cut off his finger. A very strange bet, but I am definitely interested in what will happen next. At first, the gambler refuses, but Carlos keeps uh, kind of annoying him about it, and eventually, even though the young woman is unsure of this, the gambler agrees uh, because he says he thinks he likes convertibles, I believe, which I thought was... Uh, kind of humorous. There's also another strange guy who's uh, in this episode who's witnessing all of this, who just seems to be interested in what will happen. Okay. <laughs> so everyone involved goes up to Carlos's room. Carlos gets a hotel employee uh, to get them the things that the group will need for the bet, including a knife for chopping. Very creepy stuff indeed. And I'm starting to question... Uh, Carlos at this point. So Carlos eventually gets the supplies and with everything set up, the game begins. And I have to say when the gambler starts lighting the lighter over and over, there is definitely a lot of tension. Added with the fact that Carlos seems very eager to chop off some fingers. So I have to say this scene is really well done and pretty great. So the gambler gets up to about seven, I believe, and I'm curious to see how this is going to end. Will he win or lose? So at this point, suddenly a woman bursts in the room claiming to be Carlos's wife. So the game ends at this point. It turns out she is upset because Carlos has done this many times before. He has chopped off a lot of fingers and also lost some cars in the past. And as she is explaining this, the gambler's light also fails. Uh, meaning that he would have lost, which is interesting. She also explains that he has no car, that she owns it, and we find out when she takes her hand out of her pocket that she is missing fingers, so now we know how she uh, owns the car. This ending is decent, but it does kind of come a little bit out of nowhere. It's one of those episodes where a character that hasn't been in the episode just appears to explain everything. The mood is also strange. Not sure if they were going for serious or dark humor here. Still, the ending uh, is very memorable and does work overall, and the episode up until that point is absolutely great. Had the ending worked slightly better for me, this episode, Man of the South, would be a 5 out of 5. But as it is, I still think this is an essential episode, and I am going to give The Man of the South 4 out of 5. I do consider this a must-watch episode for fans of the show, because there is a lot of suspense and a lot of tension. As always, thanks very much for your support, and thanks for watching.